It's story time with Miss Miranda. Let's do our story time song. Are you ready for a story? Eyes are watching, ears are listening, mouth is zipped. Today we'll be reading The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away! shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight. It said, then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing his finger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew away. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want a fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough. And the grouchy ladybug flew away. At eleven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At twelve noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At nine o'clock, it ha happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, <laughs> laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At two o'clock, it met a go gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating his chest. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinosaurus. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, do you want to fight? If you insist, the rhinosaurus lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, bug, and it flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of its whale flippers, Hey, you! You want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. 
At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! You want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! You want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap! that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it just started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some amphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the amphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, the fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end. Thank you for reading The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl with me. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.